For the cake, I already baked these cakes. I took my vanilla cake batter and I dyed it like the teal, pink, and black because I really wanted it to be bold and vibrant and fun. And then I dolloped it using spoons into the cake pan so that way when it bakes, it ends up with this like checkerboardy, not checkerboardy, but like marbly, but not fully marbled. Don't know how to describe it, but it's a cool pattern. So far they look pretty, but I'm gonna take them out of their cake pans, level them, and carve off the caramelization to get them ready to layer up with buttercream. different icings and I made Swiss meringue. I have never made or used Swiss meringue before. Um, so yesterday I was playing around with it and I tried to dye it and I realized through like troubleshooting that Swiss meringue does not dye very well. So I had to play around with the colors and found out this technique where if like you heat up a little bit and add the color, it deepens it. So that's what I did with this. So now I'm gonna use this one that I like already dyed and just add it in to my white one and then maybe deepen it, make it more pink. I, I need to match the TikTok logo, that's the vibe. So it has to be bright. These are the two colors I already have. So I've got the pink in the cake and the pink in the fondant that I made. So I feel like it has to match something in this. I'm aware how weird and unusual this is. I don't know. I've never worked with this stuff, so let me know in the comments. Like, is this totally weird? Am I completely wrong? Because I may be like an icing artist, but like I'm not an artist with all icing. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing half the time. When I added in the color, it was dull. Like I couldn't get any vibrant color at all. But then when I heated it up with the same math food coloring, somehow it made more of a vibrant color don't know the science. If you know the science, let everybody know in the comments. But this looks pretty good, I'm happy with that. So I didn't wanna just make like a cake with a logo on it. I thought we would do something really fun and since it's summertime, I haven't done one of these cakes in forever, I wanted to do like an ice cream drip cake. So for the top of the ice cream drip, I need an ice cream scoop. So I'm gonna do that out of like a cake pop dough, which is basically just cake dough that you're kind of crumbling up like this and then you add some icing into it. Now, because this is multicolored, it's gonna be the weirdest looking scoop ever, but I really don't care because I have this extra cake dough and I'm not gonna waste it. So I'm Icing does dry rock hard because like, nothing. I'm gonna ice it in the thicker coat of icing before I get ready to do the drip on the sides. I know a lot of you guys have been asking like where I've been, why I haven't been uploading regularly on YouTube. Uploading all the time can be exhausting and I've been on YouTube uploading for seven years. Like last time I counted, I had like 300 50 or something videos, like it was ridiculous. I have, I have a lot of cake decorating videos. And I've just been enjoying kind of taking time for myself during the midst of all this craziness, but also taking care of my health and working on other platforms and working on other projects and just having fun being creative in different ways. And it's good to every once in a while just take a step back and reflect and think about what you wanna do. And I wanna kind of reinvent some of my recipes and work on new projects. And I have some exciting projects coming up and playing around with new recipes that I haven't <laughs> worked with before that I figured I would play around with. <laughs> it's just slopping all over the place now. <laughs> People who normally ice with Italian meringue or Swiss meringue are probably cringing at me so hard in this video, but 
I'm okay with it because we're learning together and I feel like that's what you guys like anyways, that I'm not a perfectionist, that I don't come on here and pretend that I know everything and that I'm the best, that you know, I'm kind of showing my successes and failures with you as we go. But I have been uploading a lot of content on TikTok. I've really, really been enjoying being creative in a new way on that platform. So if you guys aren't currently following me, click the link in the description because I've got a lot of content. I'm posting there like five times a week sometimes. It's doing lots of different creative stuff. I'm making ganache and I want it to like drip down the top and match the color of the blue. I found this new trick where you can do like six ounces of chocolate and one ounce of warm water instead of milk. And then I add the color that I want to do to the water. Oh, that's a horrible sound. When I say I found this new technique, I've done this once. So when it doesn't work out and it fails, it's still not my fault because I've only made it once. This does not look good right now. I feel like it's way too green. I did too much green. Okay, and then I'm just gonna heat it up again just to kind of get rid of some of those like chunks that came in it. And I'm gonna add some more blue because I definitely made that too green. I hate making logos because everything has to be so precise and specific. So I cut out three different logos that, well, it's all the same logo, but different layers that I can do with fondant. So I'm gonna try my best to cut them out so it looks as close as possible. But it's gonna be these little pieces. I love it. So many people wanted me to make a cake celebrating TikTok and my million followers. So thank you everyone who's followed me over there. If you guys aren't currently following me, go to TikTok and look up the icing artist. That's me. Uh, hopefully I will see you over there because I'm making fun content. If not, I will see you back here again next week or whenever I come up with a new video. Love you.